Yeah, that anyone can be an artist and anything is art and i believe this to be true from a therapeutic and behavioral level we are all entitled to be able to express ourselves but if you want to go hard and you want to be a better artist you got to get out of your comfort zone abandon this free thinking idea and go hard get uncomfortable try new things and get better So you're an artist? Yeah. Are you good at it? This still life features candles, so while sketching, I mark out with white where the flames will be as some of my lightest values and shade with graphite where the darkest values will be. The blue underpainting is doing three things all at once. Providing a base tone where you can be very intentional with adding both lighter and darker tones. Providing a color to contrast and vibrate off of the complementary oranges I'll be using throughout. And providing a unifying color that will be very subtly present throughout what will quickly turn into a chaotic piece. Basically keeping my palette consistent even as it increases in complexity. This scene has a lot of glass and reflections, so I let the blue leak through to simulate the dispersion of light through glass. In places that would normally be dead space, i.e. the wall behind this heart, I use a gradient following the light source to keep the eye moving. I try to use a similar gradient in other flat places, like the candle wax, to keep the eye jumping from detail to detail. Of her vanilla curls, I'm tied up in her shy and fair-haired fairy prison. There's big daisies, call me dumber cause your heart's so tasty. Your biggest fan, I'll follow you until you love me, Papa. Papa, I'm your biggest fan. Ah!
almost there. ゴミ<笑> Thank you.
Process, but also just normal.